boy it just creeps up so fast doesn't it you're just sitting there like man that was the most fun willica it's this friday i just lost my channel points 10 minutes ago what do you mean it's time for willikill already what happens is that willikill takes place the last friday of every month stop asking me just look at the calendar that monday before will it kill takes place so the monday that just happened i open up a form you come to my twitch chat you type in exclamation point form you get the form that lets you submit uh clips to the show the rules for this are quite simple when this show begins we're gonna play a clip when the clip plays i will pause it when a character gets hit in a video game and ask a simple question will it kill when i ask this question you get a chance to vote and if you're not voting with channel points in the twitch chat i would also recommend trying to keep tally uh at home now with that being said i'm ready to crank this bad baby out so we can get this in the ring you know what i'm saying without further ado i will show you our very first clip of this month's will it kill i hope you're all ready for some good old-fashioned third strike all righty then chat room it's been a while since we've had some makoto you know this is a mainstay in our first couple of willa kills we had so much third strike oh also you guys can use them in the chat besides voting i added some emotes so there's now say jam yes and say jam no emotes no matter whether you throw yes or no you can now vote with the rock the funny thing is about this is that makoto is always such a dangerous foe it's hard to have a makoto clip on here right because you know you guys all vote yes 65 <laughs> percent of the votes are in voting yes 35 percent are voting no damn there's some 250k errors i told you all not to go all in oh did i not say not go all in today oh no i don't know if i reminded everybody this might be my fault oh boy I'm losing my touch. Yeah, she's stunned. Set you son go down, Ziggy. Well, she lived. <laughs> so many of you thought she was dead for sure. 65% of the votes in right away. Yeah, she's hella alive. The bar is empty. Yeah, but the heart still beats. It's going to be a long day. Well, you know, a lot of journalists are, are saying Elden Ring is too hard. So I figured will it kill? It's got to be difficult to get the journalist to write about it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we've got some more Street Fighter for you guys today. You know there's going to be some KOF. You know it's going to happen, but not quite yet. We're not quite there. I know everybody in here is a Street Fighter Five expert. Love it or hate it. You're all prepared. Whoops, let me get this audio back. Alrighty then, chat room. What the fuck, man? They didn't even put Ken in this new game. They showed off Luke and Ryu before they put in Ken Masters of all characters, you know? Who's gonna hit? Uh, Ken's gonna hit with his Shin Ryuken. Uh, I'll give you that, okay? You, there's, there's no trickery here. This thing has a humongous hitbox. It's massive. So get your rocks in. How do you just have 250,000 lying around to vote on both sides? What in the fuck? You guys are will it kill tycoons. 71% of the votes say yes. 29% say no. Let's take a peek. I see people real confident on this one. Bruh. Whoa! <laughs> you know i'm sorry to say chat yeah she got absolutely melted this one is a bit of a gimme though you know this one is a bit of a gimme the first one was real tough and then i was like all right we can ease up on the gas a little bit don't put in chat 2-0 with the pete davidson face emote okay i need you to not do that okay i can't handle seeing his fucking smiling face all right keep it down yeah a lot of street fighter made it into this one so far i'm sure you know you guys are all experts on the game you know it's the street fighter 6 hype i think a lot of people submitted a lot of clips for this all right then. the first half usually is the place for street fighter right it's the place where we keep clips that are you know a little bit more traditional they're not gonna surprise you like why is this character twerking on this other character with a pogo stick or anything i don't play street fighter 5 so i have no idea and yet you voted gil is a high damage character so you know it's the reason that this one is uh, potentially dangerous. We've got 63% of the votes in on yes, 37% of the votes in on no. Okay, okay. Give it to you from the top since it's not too long. All right, that's done. 
There's a lot of combo to spare here, though. <laughs> it's pretty close. It is pretty close. And it kills. I'm sorry to say. You thought he was going to make it with just a little bit, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's dead. Of course, this character always stuns you. Some Street Fighter clips that are pretty high damage, but we made it out of the realm of Street Fighter, okay? Bring it back to a game I know. I know a lot of you are Guilty Gear experts in the chat and the YouTube comments. Floor 6 Nago players reporting in, trying to tell me how to play the game. I've got you covered. We got a bunch of Potemkin players in here. This should be easy peasy. Alrighty then, chat room, easy peasy. You know, we got the Guilty Gear songs of playing. You give me a yes or a no, you know? You can't even see Potemkin's face. He's too busy kicking that little boot. Wait, run that one more time, please? Why, the clip is so long. You want me to play the entire thing again? All right. There you go. Pop players don't submit no's. <laughs> you can't just take the exact same thing he said about Gil and then say it for this, okay? You think a Potemkin player just will never submit a clip that doesn't kill? <laughs> Pretty close down the middle. 47% on yes, 53% on no. Why? There is a maxed out bets on both of these. Oh my lord. There, You all just have so much points to gamble with, I suppose. You guys don't think this is gonna kill, huh? Go triple loops, please die. No, I'm I'm sorry, chat. I just like you, he, he was really hoping. But the good news is that in the end, justice prevails. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Flicking the super? That's pretty good. A lot of people are like, how the fuck is this character almost gonna die here? Yeah, I mean, you just explode. It's it is a lot. I saw someone in the chat say, like, I knew Testament would survive because he was evil. And, you know, that's like a good motto to live by. Top tier characters never seem to die when bad things happen to them, you know? If the wall broke, he was dead. That's true. All right, we have some more uh, Guilty Gear for you guys up next. Some Strive that'll give you some easy dubs. It's okay. I got you covered. Now, this one, a lot of you may have seen it. This is a pretty, pretty popular clip. So, you know, it might be a gimme. It's okay to give one or two, given how difficult everything is. All righty then, chat room. I'm asking a simple question. I think some people have seen this clip. It's a pretty, pretty popular clip. Oh God, I don't remember. You know, that's the funny thing is, is that like, I think even though you probably watch it live, you like don't remember. I was there in the flesh. I watched it with my own eyes, me being a meat tuber, and I don't remember what the hell happened. That is the worst part. <laughs> It seems like some people are pretty convinced about what happened. Given that the vote at the time of me saying this sentence is at 94% no. Let's say you voted 250,000 on no here. You're going to probably end up with 250,500 or something. I'm curious how many channel points people make if you're right. You should just vote for the odds. And then the OTG one shot. Two shot, not enough. The payout is not so good, but you all did get it right. It's a bit of a gimme. It's a bit of a gimme. He survived. Play the rest of the clip. Yeah, it is. It is just the air throw right at the end. You know, I've been told that that if you pop blood rage, your family members from all of history will suddenly cry out in pain as it wipes the existence of all of you. And Nagori Yuki, being such a weak character, cannot survive after Blood Rage, and just the game is instantly over. But, you know, he seemed to uh, seemed to get the win there. I don't know how that happened. Also, uh, this is a, a phenomenon I've realized that has happened in the last, like, seven shows. We haven't had any Mortal Kombat on this show. And finally, they submitted it some MK, and it made it. I'm not going to lie. This is the big problem. A lot of the MK streamers play music that's copyrighted on their streams and somebody clips it and sends it to me, and I'm like, I can't play that music. Anyway, so here's our, our Mortal Kombat. We made it, we got some MK. Alrighty then, chat room. I had to make sure I got a, a nice pause on his neck getting snapped by the jump in. This is Jason. Uh, yeah, he's in the Relentless variation. Someone said 201 MS. 
you know that means it's more damage. If the ping is higher, you know it's going to be higher damage, you know? It's laggy and 144p. It's a, like, there's no way he lives. It's a lot of life, though. Too. Like that, before the jump in, that's like 80%. Okay, 65% of you say yes. 35% of you say no. Let's take a look at the clip here. I love this clip. Great clip for this show. If you've never seen this game before, if you've never seen Jason, then uh, yeah, this, this clip is sick. Yep, knife through the head. Through the head that way. Out the head. In the chest. Clean little 84% on that one. And then a little double boot to get the job done. 84%. I'm pretty sure this is the variation that the lower on life he is, the more damage he does. So like that, the fireball hitting, I'm pretty sure probably made that kill. Look at the way he's looking at him. Jason is staring down at him like, you fucking idiot, throwing a fireball at me. Pathetic. He's looking down like, pathetic. All right, you know what time it is, chat. With how much KOF has been in the show in the past, that a new release, KOF 15, was going to mean that we were going to get a lot of KOF clips. And I mean a lot. So many Terry clips. You know, 2B, 2B, 5B. Are you okay? Like, I'm just like, oh God, this is going to be a disaster. Let's take a peek. We've got some KOF for you guys to check out. Maybe you'll be an expert now in the, in the game. All righty then, chat room. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking the life bar a little bit. Let me get out of the way. You know, just doing a little whoop, assist arena coming in off the side. What year? It's 2022, man. You don't even know what year it is. You got to stay off the drugs. You don't want your brain to be burned out like that. Oh, you meant the KOF. Yeah, it's 2000. Tag game equals dead is a good rule to, to live by. Honestly, in life, but in the show for sure. 60% of the votes in on yes, 40% of the votes in on no. Keep in mind that these old KOFs, as is uh, tradition, have some flashing lights uh, sometimes, so be careful about that. If you're, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, you might want to watch out. <laughs> that boot coming in. Weena, what happened? I have no idea. You know, if I could tell you, I would. I don't know where the fuck they went. They just flew up in the sky, and that was the last time I seen him. And then Iori hit the ground dead as fuck. I don't know why he is all the way in the air, comboing him off the screen, but that's just how it has to get down sometimes. How is everybody's records? I'm seeing some five and twos, four and threes, seven. Oh, oh man, we gotta we gotta change that. All right, let's see here. Our next KOF clip. For real, for real, this time, we do have some modern era KOF clips. And also the best part is as I switch to this clip, look at the life bar. <laughs> the life bar from Dolores. <laughs> oh man. This is just, you know, classic little anchor battle. Boop. All righty then, chat room. Got a little pop arena even. Look at Ralph's face. <laughs> He's like, like he just gets hit and he's just like what is happening as is most of the clips we got submitted in this every anchor is just to be and then like fucking 97 percent damage just on some combo you're like okay good on my end just this one character toe taps you and then terry just fucking explodes your dolores or ralph or whoever four bars japanese name tag max mode it's a kill i see that shit sounds like the conditions for the modifiers on a fucking Halo campaign. Ball taken. Ball dropped. It's just fucking easy peasy. 64% of the votes in on yes. 36% of the votes in on no. This is a lot of channel points on KOF too. Usually people are a little shy. But maybe now that there's a new game out, people are feeling a bit more confident. I could, I could get behind that. Yeah, actually, that's not Japanese now that you mention it. That's a great point. I just read the comment. That's not even Japanese. Which is why you're wrong. You ever thought about that? Maybe you should learn to read so that you don't get baited because you think something's Japanese and it's not. You ever thought about that? You guys think you're so fucking clever, huh? Don't even know how to unlock all the skulls in the legendary campaign. Well, well, well. Yeah, we do have a lot of KOF because of that. So we try to find some fun, cool combos for people to check out. Our next one, for those of you out there, someone contact Hell Pockets. We need a Joe expert. Oh, double. Alrighty then, chat room. 
Man, look at those mutton chops on Maxima. That's what they think Canadians look like? I see, I see. Maybe it is. I don't know. You tell me. Man, you guys are scared on this one, huh? The channel points are not flowing in in a, in a confident fashion. You also need those channel points for the second half still. I get it. 59% of the vote in on yes. 41% of the vote in on no. Not bad, not bad. Pretty okay split. To be starter, we have a 30-minute combo coming up. I love the announcer in the background. Here they go. <laughs> Shut up, man. Shut up in there, this stupid announcer. This fight's about to go down. Oh, yeah, we got a nice little stun. Yo! <laughs> Yo, just the, the killer right at the end. Why did he stun him and then have 85% of the combo left, you know? What's next, the announcer? That's the longest combo I've ever seen. Imagine getting hit by a combo like that and the announcer's like, player one is really kicking the shit out of you. And you're like, dude, I'm not trying to hear it. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's time to check out some more KOF. I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. This should be our last clip of the half. KOF is the nice part of the show, if that makes you feel better or worse. All righty then, chat room. I ask a very simple question. Nice little air to air, pop them out of the air. You guys are all Yori fans. Everybody who's an Edge Lord, you know, Sasuke Uchiha clan member. You know, I would never show Shune living on stream. Someone really got mad in the YouTube comments. They were like, "It's the sheep mentality to say Shune is not cool." That's just all the sheep say it. Like it's just no, he just doesn't look cool. It's not my fault his default outfit. They just like picked eight colors and we're like, that'll do. 64% of the vote in on yes. 36% of the vote in on no. Let's take a look. Let's see. You're just gonna die from like an air to air out of nowhere. You got no business just getting popped out of the air by jump CDs. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead as fuck, actually. Sometimes you get hit air to air for no reason and you just explode. That's the video game. Call it two and eight. Ooh, that's not looking so good so far. Yeah, we're past 10 clips. First half's done, so. As a palate cleanser, since there was so much KOF, which I know is a lot of people's worst nightmare, we do have some funny clips. I get submitted a lot of things like this that are really hard to use. Great example of this uh, right here. You know, it's quite hard. like they're funny Twitter clips, but they're actually quite difficult to use for the show. You know what I mean? The bounce is so fucked up. The way she hits the lip. We could also, some people get mad. They say that ring outs are not KOs. I don't agree at all. I think there's no world where a ring out's not a KO, but what do I know? I just invented the show. Uh, it's definitely a KO. I also get sent some mix ups sometimes that are really cool. This one is a great example. He has no business being there. This is why they didn't bring him back, by the way. They're like, this motherfucker can teleport and break space-time continuum, so we can't just have him back. Like, he's just landing here, and then all of a sudden he does a little slide to the right, and then he just smokes you. You're like, okay. I didn't know 13 had a rollback. You saw it there first, you know? I also have wanted to use this clip for two Willa kills, by the way. It's been, like, on the cusp of making it into both shows, but I sadly, I don't think it's going to make it. It's kind of hard to use. It's really funny, though. This clip from uh, Hoop Cup. Specifically Street Fighter 1. Oh, my God. Is he dead? Is that nuke going to explode? Is that, that going to reach him? Is that nuke? Oh, it's so good. The lag, the spectator lag, making it so that you can't tell if the nuke is going to hit or not makes for a truly incredible clip. But it's kind of hard to use in the show because you want them to talk, but also, you know, it's hard to find the right pause. The suspense is so good. Yeah, testament. This is you guys after losing the channel points. I also got sent a couple of clips. I think a lot of people saw the Monster Hunter clip and they're like, all right, it's my, my time to submit the Zelda clip. Every time I see one of these on Twitter, I'm sure you've all seen them too. There's like a Japanese Zelda clip. It always looks like this. You guys have all seen this, I'm sure. This is really a rock thrower's dream right here, you know what I mean? 
All Breath of the Wild clips are always like this. It's always like Link wearing no clothes and just beating the shit out of people with rocks and like flying around the map. I get one of these on my timeline like once every two weeks and it's always like this. Yeah, it's incredible. Same thing with this clip. I, you know, Dark Souls 2 fans, I almost included this. Don't say that I never did anything for you, Dark Souls 2 fans. I got submitted a Dark Souls 2 clip that almost made this show. This almost made the show. Almost. Why? Why does this stagger in the head? This is fucked up. Are you telling me the new strat, you shoot them with the bow and they can get staggered by the headshots? That is fucked up. The target was destroyed, saying the very least. I also got submitted this one and it was a funny clip, but also very hard to use, I think. But you know, we had in our other show, we had like the Dan Kuga. Was it the Dan Kuga that was the double dizzy? This one is a CE clip. That's Dizzy number one. Dizzy number two, the music. Dizzy number three. Why does it triple Dizzy? Can anybody explain to me why that needed to happen? One scissor kick and then he's just dead? Sure. Yeah, Bison, to be fair, boss character status, right? I get him. Anyway, we made it to the second half. There's some old favorites. There's some new favorites. There's some shit I've never seen. Good luck out there, chat. That's all I'll say. Good luck. Anime girl noise that kills. Yeah, I couldn't even stop it before it started up. I know you're all fans out there. Somebody contact the 60 Frames investigative journalist uh, Obama to get them on the case. We got some Melty Blood. And you know Melty Blood. A lot of you are experts. I'm sure you'll figure this out. What a funny punch, by the way. Alrighty then, chat room. Nice little stomp. This one is titled Will It Kill 3, which means that it had it's a sequel of a sequel. I love the wind-up punch, like in the beginning. I'll go back here. I love the wind-up punch. It made us laugh so hard. I was really hoping the wind-up punch was going to be the start of the combo because it's just so funny, but it's the stomp. You know, as far as like second half clips go, Melty Blood, it has its place when things are a little bit silly it has its place it's pretty good i see not a lot of people are so sure the second half of this gets weirder and weirder as things go on by the way 65 percent of the votes in on yes 35 percent of the votes in on no yeah i think a lot of you kind of could smell where this clip was going <laughs> a lot of people could smell where this clip was going let's see She's really living on that pixel for a while, though, isn't she? That pixel is doing some work. It is living. I'm sorry to say, chat. I'm sorry to say, chat. That pixel put in more work than anybody on the planet. It was fighting for its fucking life out there. Uh, Moss said, my man is reducing, reducing the damage. Yeah living on a pixel the 10 wins to one win told me it wouldn't kill that's actually some wild logic i never would have thought of that in my life because this person has been winning more the combo deals less damage that's some psychological warfare that i'm not ready for i respect the commitment though Alrighty, our next clip you guys heard a smidgen of it if the funny thing is if anybody identified this game off that smidgen i would be shocked because it's such a i don't even know what this game is which always makes it a good candidate all righty then chat room look at the way he's doing the lazy boy recliner i love this normal i don't know what this normal is but it makes me laugh every time i pause this clip like the way he leans back a jello spine like he's just like let me do a little lean back counter hit and counter boost and stun boost and he's doing the butler lean plus you fell off and the streets crack mirrors 64 percent of the vote is in on yes 36 percent of the vote is in on it this is very reminiscent of the clip we literally just saw it was a very similar uh what's it called percentage of the vote is in so let's see Oh, chat room. I love the girl on this, you know? It's pretty good, right? Anyway, yeah, you all thought this would kill, huh? Oh, yeah, it does. It does. 
It just takes, you know, it takes a second to get there. I was just appreciating the gur, you know, that's all. I like that VO. It was pretty good. Did you guys not know it was going to kill? <laughs> There's no way they would play two clips in a row that look like they're going to kill and then they don't, right? There's no way that, or they do. Like, there's no way it would be back to back. There's a lot of funny clips out there that people find. I don't know how they do it, to be honest with you. I love this. I know you guys are all in the mood for KOF. We got the legend here himself. The geese is unleashed. Against Tabasa? I don't know who Tabasa is. <laughs> She's got the sorting hat. I'm not sure. Look at the mischievous ass grin on Geese's face. Can we just talk about the eyebrow placements and that grin? Yeah, the, the footage, it's not the most normal looking SVC footage I've ever seen. I know this game, it kills. They say you pay channel points to say that, which means you're making an investment one way or another. I don't know which way you're investing, to be honest. You could be throwing me for a loop. You could be throwing the chat for a loop for all I know. You all try to throw each other off too hard. I feel like people are going to just believe you one way or another, and they're just going to be right sometime, you know? 70% of the votes in on yes. 30% of the votes in on no. A lot of people seem to believe in the geese. The goose? Oh, no. Does this kill? Question mark. Well, well let's find out. Dizzy. Cow! I love that shit. The way that guy says that, you can't escape. Cow! From full life, too. Like, this combo is just, I, at least I assume it's full life. This combo is just like jump over, smoke. Just like Tekken 7 with a little sad face. When Geese comes out in KOF, Tekken fans are gonna be cooked. Like, they're gonna be like, not again. Alrighty, so we got some Marvel 3. This, this game makes it into the show occasionally. It doesn't always make it in, but we do have quite a bit. All right, chat. I got you some Hawkeye. It's been some time since we've had Marvel 3, so it felt like a good time to bring this, this clip into the show, you know? She's got full life, basically. Look at that pixel on Hawkeye, too. Look at the time. Yeah, the time is on the, it's there. But that's Marvel seconds. Marvel seconds are pretty long. Is that Jeremy Renner? I think it's Kate Bishop. He's a cool character in this game. Honestly, really fun. I think they did a good job with him. It's funny because a lot of the characters that are better than him, I think are not cooler than him at doing what he does. 32% of the votes in on yes. 68% of the votes in on no. All righty, well, let's see it. Let's see it. Not a lot of people believe in Hawkeye, huh? I'm sorry, chat. It does not. He did. He did not enough damage. Just a smidgen on the clock. I'm sorry to say. This is really recent too, right? Isn't this like 2019? Yeah, I was going to say this isn't that old of a clip. Never rely on Hawkeye. Hey, I just want you to know the Avengers are undefeated when Hawkeye is there. You know that? That's true, actually. Profiting hard. You know, I don't like how many people seem to be doing well. So now I got to throw a curveball at you. I'm sick of your guys' shit, okay? This is how the rest of the show is going to be. It's only going to get weirder from here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chat room, he's overheated. You know how it goes. This clip. He's, he's a little overheated. Joke's on you. I played this game. I don't know if joke's on me or not. We'll find out. How do people find this shit? Great question. I'm a fold on this one. I... <laughs> you, you know, you could choose to follow your heart or not. It's up to you. You make the bets that you feel are reasonable, okay? The overheat message. I love the little Gundam pilots, like, smiling in the corners. You know, they're like, yeah, just happy to be here as their mechs explode and shit, right? You're just like, uh-oh. These people are dead. We got 70% in on yes. 30% of the vote in on no. A lot of people are, are rock throwing or flail throwing in this one, which you know what? It's okay with me. I'm okay if you're a flail thrower. All right, let's go back. Let's watch the clip from the beginning. Overheat. That's checkmate, chat. Good old fashioned checkmate. Nothing you can do about that. Good old overheat into the destroyer, into the checkmate. 
Nothing you can do about that. That's a tale as old as time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this clip made me laugh so hard because why is it checkmate? Like, for what reason is it checkmate? Who decided it was checkmate? That's what I want to know. Destroyer! And then he just clank. Bank. I love that it zooms in and says, win. Like, the checkmate doesn't give it away. The zoom in doesn't give it away. They just gotta let you know. Win. I looked at the wrong meter for super and it still killed. You know, I feel like there was a lot of guesswork there anyway. Our next clip, we've had a lot of Waku submitted in the past. I'm not sure if any have made it yet or not, to be honest. I feel like a lot have been in the halftime and stuff, but we have some Waku. I know a lot of people like Waku. I love this music. This music hype as fuck. All righty then, chat room. The music in this clip kills me. Like it's so like ba ba da dum da dum da. It's like all like up upbeat and shit, you know. And then all of a sudden, like it's just fucking. She kicks him in the head. Chance. Arena Grande. I like this game is sick, man. I don't know too much about Waku, but I know it makes me laugh when I watch it. So that's important. Seems like 63% of you are pretty sure uh, this is gonna be a fatal blow. 37% of you voted no. Let's find out. I mean, you know, it says chance. This character is seven character lengths in the air. Uh, it's not looking so good. I'm sorry to say, chat room. It's not enough. Despite the jovial music, he lived. Just thriving, surviving, living your best life. Nobody dies to a soundtrack that happy. You know, that should have been the giveaway. There was an obvious bait right there. A lot of you seem to really believe that was going to kill. I'm sorry to say, but you know, what can you do? Anyway, I said that we had some old favorites and some new favorites in here. This was in the last show to great, to great response. People loved this game. It's not Spring Man this time, but it is the same game. <laughs> Oh, the oldest trick in the book, dude. Get baited. That shit is so sick. There's like a thing about Will a Kill where like when a big boot or a big launcher starts a combo, it makes me laugh every time. There's something so satisfying about the start of this combo. That's a field goal. <laughs> it really is, right? He puts his whole back into it. Look at this pose that is going on in here. This character's name is Big Body. I didn't even realize. You know, also, in Filament told me, like, you know, I went back and I watched, like, an hour of footage about this game last time, and the game is actually incredibly low damage overall. He's like, the game does not do that much damage on most hits, and then there's these hits that are just like this that ex people explode. 83% of you are in on the big kick. 17% of the votes in on no. Let's find out. I would like to watch the big kick again. <laughs> And boop. I'm sorry to say, chat. It's always the OTG elbow that gets you, isn't it? Right in the back. You know the big kick. So many people are gonna vote yes because it's too funny not to. And when we were looking at that clip, I was like, you know, a lot of people are gonna vote yes because like it's a big kick. And I was like, and that's okay. I'm okay with everybody voting yes on it because the clip is too funny not to be in the show. Speaking of which, we haven't bocoed in a while, you know what I mean? The funniest thing about Kyanza 2 is like, it just, it always surprises me where the hits are. I'm just chilling and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, is this the combo? Like it comes out of nowhere. Lost a lot of channel points off that one. It's your time to make them back, okay? Here we go. All right. Alrighty there, chat room. Look at the face. Ah, oh, this game is too much. They have no business making the characters look like this when they get hit. It's the main character, Kyanta. Mr. Kyanta is his father. I don't know. Is this My Hero Academia? Yeah, Masao is Midoriya. It's the same character. Why is the game speed so fast? It's funny because in Filament last night was saying, you know, when I have Kyanta, I always think that the game is set to 1.5 on my my youtube like i i feel like i left it there from something else like there's no way it's this fast but it's yeah it's this fast somebody does a tatsu in neutral and it does 80 percent. you're like okay makes sense wow look at this vote 49 percent of the points in on yes 51 percent of the votes in on 
No, it's real close. I'll go back a little bit so we can watch the start of this hit again. It's pretty fast. I'm sorry to say, chat room. In this episode of My Hero Academia, Kyanta win. Look at that one. In the top right, look at that one. Tuck and roll, baby. That's how you get out of there. Easy. <laughs> you can't pop off about one HP. You can't look at this one. I don't actually know if the rest of the clip has a kill or not. I have no idea what the rest of the clip is. I haven't looked. I'm sure he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Main character syndrome, I'm telling it's just like testament. Bad things don't happen to cheap characters like that or the main character. Alrighty, our next clip. This one's called uh Taro is a dog. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. What the dog doing? Yeah, Taro is a dog, classic clip. I paused half a frame. <laughs> I have a frame too early because the game is too fast. All right, there we go. Look at the face on this character. Anna is in mortal fucking peril because Taro is a dog. Her emotion gauge is sad. I mean, I think her emotion gauge is terrified. Like, I'd be scared too of this goddamn dog. I don't even want to pet the dog in this game. This motherfucker's scary, you know what I mean? I love that there's an exclamation point and a question mark. It's like, what's happening in this clip? I don't know. We got 62% of the vote in on yes. 38% of the vote in on no. Let's take a look. Let's see if Taro is a dog or not. Not only does he win, but look at the despicable nature of this fucking dog. Do you see this shit? What kind of world do we live in where this dog not only kills you, but then pees on you at the end with no remorse. Look at the face. I hate it here. Now we know what the dog is doing. This guy, what a little shithead. You know that? Anyway, chat, we're 19 clips in. I'm very curious. How's everybody doing in this show? I don't know if this show was hard. I don't know if it was easy. I don't know if it was Elden Ring difficulty or if it was baby mode difficulty. People seem to be doing okay. I'm seeing a lot of 12 and 7. 15 and 4. Oh my lord. 18 and 3. You might want to count again. 0 and 2. 0 and 5. 4 and 7. There's some rough ones here. This is not so bad though. You could always make it all back. Last clip of the day. Everybody's going to spend all their points one way or another. And this game, I mean, this game has been on the show so many times. I feel like you should all be experts by now. There's nobody who shouldn't know this game. All in on the heart of the cards. You can get some points in there. It's time for some Nitro Plus Blasters. If you haven't seen it already, here we go. All righty then, chat room. It's time to get those votes in. Let me see the rocks one way or another. I'm curious. Where are we at with these rocks? It's going to be some damages. 3,300 damages already. These rocks are so pretty. By the way, if you ever see Crespo in the chat, Crespo made these. These are awesome. Did I see 4 million on both sides? How many channel points are already in? What the hell? We're like over 12 million already. We're clean over 13 at this point. 44% of the vote on yes. 56% of the vote is on no. People always argue, they're like, last time it was a no, this time it's going to be a yes. There's no way he would end the show with a yes or a no or a no or a yes. People always argue one way or another. So let's strap in our final clip on this Will It Kill. Thanks for coming through and getting your votes in chat. Let's check it out. Nice little juggle in the air. Knock him down. Flame wheel. Summon Exodia. Trap him in the web. Reality stone. Web ball. All right. Bring out the second gun. Checkmate. Ice crystals. You know. Uh, there's no way you would end with a no, right? How many damages? 12,387 damages. Why did this combo go on for so... Can someone explain to me why there was... Like 30 minutes ago. There was a... Back when we were all human. There's like a robot that comes out. And that's like in the first five seconds of the combo. Okay, so there's like a, pl a flame wheel. There's a robot artillery strike. 
and then there's more combo, and then the lasers come down, and then web ball, and then reality stone into the gun loops. And then there's another assist with another gun, and then another super? I don't understand. I don't, there's just too much. There's too, they got too many assets here. This needs to be whoever handles whatever forces come from space, you know? Like, why the Avengers when you can get this girl who's got access to all this weaponry and shit? It doesn't make any sense. You lost 30k at the end? That's how it goes. 15 and 5, lost 800, yeesh. That is rough. I bet all in on every clip, lost everything early, but 14 and 6, that's not too bad. 14 and 6 is a good record. Seems like you all did okay. This show, I think it was a mix of like really hard clips and some gimmies that were just cool clips that we wanted to show, basically. You always show up late for Will It Kill. It's always the same place and same time. I don't, people always say like, I forgot it was Will It Kill or I missed it or this and that. It's always the same place at the same time. If you're busy, I get it. But also, you know, if you're not, I don't know how you can miss it. It's always the same spot.